Hello and welcome to Disillusioned Plays, where we, I don't know why I put a pause between <laughs> Dis and Illusion. <laughs> Disillusioned Plays, where we play the games <laughs> and do the voices and naff up the intros. <laughs> I'm Pete. I'm Sarah. And I'm Taylor. And yes. it wouldn't be us if it wasn't a train wreck to yes. start with. Well, you know, we're all about the opening train wreck. Oh, so, God, yeah. <laughs> you might have noticed the opening screen of this is not Phoenix Wright or Rumpa or anything like that or Murder of Sonic or whatever. This is an entirely different thing. So yes. uh, the developer of this game, Fuzzy Pixel, reached out to us and sort of asked if we would be interested in having a play of their upcoming demo. Yeah. And so here we are. They said it's fairly similar to Phoenix Wright, kind of. So might be a par alley. Yeah. And so here we are. And so with that, let's stop messing about and get uh, uh, stuck on in, I think. Yeah. I, I mean, think so. I mean, the thing is, though, clearly they didn't uh, they didn't calculate this out because they they didn't watch enough of our content to be like, oh, no, <laughs> this isn't this <laughs> isn't the group of people I want playing. To know, what a, to know what a terrible mistake it would be to have us do any of this. But it's too late now. <laughs> We're starting. <laughs> in the laws of Nadrajia, you will be required to participate in court sessions. The game remembers your decisions oh, and no. changes the story <laughs> depending on them. Oh, no, Edgeworth will remember this. <laughs> Each trial can be lost if you fail to meet the allotted time. But a lost trial does not necessarily mean the end of the game. Well, Occasional loss of a trial is a part of the game. This is the way to feel like a real prosecutor. However, there should be enough time for each trial. Oh, God, there's like a timer. The, I like the should. There should be enough time, oh. there, I hope. But what they fail to understand is when you've got three people trying to share one brain cell, <laughs> the concept of time becomes a little more wibbly wobbly. No, 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 no they didn't take into account that it's us three and <laughs> several things will happen. One, a tangent. Two, somebody <laughs> falls out with somebody else. What do you mean somebody? I, 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 no names. I can say, I, I, that sounds quite accusatory. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you know, I think I think so. My first point of feedback is there needs to be a disillusion plays button where the timer is twice as long. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, yeah. yeah. To a, <laughs> so are we going? To, so are we going to be hardcore gamers and play oh, with no. the timer, or are we going to play without the timer? Oh, guys? I'm going to be so stressed with the timer. I don't like it when things have a time limit. Come on, I mean, we're we're on a time limit right now as we're recording I the suppose. episode. So are we? Let's playing? give it a shot. It's a demo. Let's 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 try it the way live, it was meant to be played. Let's okay. live on the edge. We'll live dangerously. All right, we'll Edgeworth. Do so. Live on the Edgeworth. Oh. <laughs> Voice in Adragia, power to the people. Captured in his palace, the king and the revolutionaries were able to come to an agreement. From now on, the power of the people of Nadraji will be represented by a new deliberative body, the Supreme Collegium. Collegium? Collegium. 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 Do you think collegium? Collegium sounds better than collegium, but I don't know. At the same I think, time, yeah, collegium. Collegium. The power of the king is preserved. All the decisions of ruling the country will be made jointly by the king and the supreme collegium. The so the one thing we, the one thing we know for sure is that it's not going to be made jointly by the king and the <laughs> supreme collegium. <laughs> the necessary bloodshed is coming oh, to an end. Oof. Goodness me. And there's some more and some more. But let's so let's let's get going. So the old all the old laws are declared invalid. The Supreme College of the King have begun to create new ones. Monitor the changes to avoid unnecessary beheadings. What? Oh, okay. It, <laughs> typical. The, well, I stopped reading when it's like, wait a second, what? <laughs> what? I stopped reading at the it's, interesting part. It's just getting oh, okay. juicy. <laughs> okay, so I didn't. So we can click to move around. So yeah, so you might actually notice for once we're playing a game with mouse and keyboard. So mm. this game does support controllers, although the implementation is. A little strange because it's got like you can use the d-pad to select menu items and then mm. the analog stick the left analog stick to also select menu items and you move with the right stick which oh. is an interesting choice oh that's that yeah i feel like i just leave menu items to the d-pad myself but what do i know so <laughs> let's i'm glad i did try to play because i'd be like why well, can't i move anyway <laughs> it, it, yeah it, it did throw me off for a bit so we've got this guy here i guess let's let's talk to him Oh, oh dear. <laughs> oh, he's angry. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, wow. Uh, nice animation, though. Yeah, hey. yeah. You. Yes, yes, you. 
Oh no. Right, okay, it's time for me to butcher this. You'll <laughs> be fine. Uh, uh, me? You! You were the one appointed, right? Are you a new prosecutor? Uh, yes, aid and fair. Uh, today is my first day at work. Being late on your first day at work. <laughs> it's bad <God>. manners. <laughs> Go even, even for a prosecutor. I don't like how you're pointing that musket at me, sir. Oh. Oh, oh guilty. That wasn't me. Damn it. That wasn't me. It was guilty. It won't happen again. Uh, guilty. It, it won't happen again. I noticed the. I noticed what you did there with the guilty. <laughs> Not you, the developer. Oh, <laughs> what, what, the have I done? what have I done? Also, also for the record, Sarah, I think it's a very good voice. Uh, yes. <laughs> we'll see. <It's... laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> <laughs> nice to hear this. My ears are in ecstasy. <laughs> I am the general intendant of Nadraja's Supreme Collegium. My duties include checking the work of all the institutions of the judicial system. The country needs you, colleague. The state needs you. We're all colleagues in Nadragia. We all work together for the benefit of the people. <laughs> so the one thing we know for sure is that they all don't work together for the benefit of the people. <laughs> but time waits for no one, especially people playing this game doing stupid jokes. <laughs> and even more so for you. Soon enough, we'll get to know each other much. Cl what? 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 Are you, excuse Where? me, are you, uh, are you do, hitting on him? Do excuse me, sir. I mean, uh, at least take me on a date first. My they, goodness. They saw, they saw all the like all the, uh, the the Nick and Edgeworth ships and were like, right, we've got to get on that train <laughs> straight away. Um, soon enough, we'll get to know each other much closer, prosecutor. In the meantime, a short tour around the castle. Oh no, is that a euphemism? The castle? Oh my god. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> this place is the former residence of Lord Magnus. Uh, we should stop waving that musket. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <It's like just laughs> casually flinging it in his direction. <laughs> After the revolution, he kindly agreed to provide his castle for the needs of the Supreme Collegium. <laughs> the castle was just finished urgent. Sorry. The castle was just finished urgently reconstruction to be used as the new courtrooms yesterday. The number of flawless and anarch oh flawless. flawless that was me that time. <laughs> the number of lawless and anarchists is growing. Your first court hearings should start today. To the left of the entrance there are offices of the secretary, the court detective, and Madam Chief Justice. Visit them often. To the right are the courtrooms. Your courtroom is numbered two. Get used to it. Now you will spend m now you will spend most of your life there. A colleague prosecutor is already waiting for you there to bring you up to date and test your skills. Don't make him wait too long. Courtroom number two, test trial. All clear. Move. <laughs> All right, and that's that. But we're oh, not going to do that. Right we're gonna, we're gonna, let's go. What was he saying? Something about there's the detect. Is he the detect the 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 court detective, Madam? Supreme Justice. Madam Supreme Chief Justice. Justice. Oh, Chief Justice, sorry. We're oh, no. Can not Strongheart. The secretary. Is, oh, this, is this Mrs. Strongheart? <laughs> oh, this person. Uh, uh, Madam Chief Justice is busy. No one, to disturb, no one is to disturb her now. Wait. This uniform? Are you the new prosecutor? I'm sorry, the new professor. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yes. It is my first day today. I wanted to greet my uh, supervisor. Well, uh, like I said, the mistress is busy right now. Uh, usually, to meet the mistress, it is necessary to make an appointment several weeks in advance. Uh, but I suppose you can meet her within a few days. Within a few days? But how do I get started without a chief? Ah, uh, that's a pity. Oh, okay, okay. All righty. I guess I'm not talking to her today. <laughs> Darn. Oh. Oh. Hello. <laughs> uh, y y y yes, yes. Uh, come in. Uh, good morning. I'm already in. Oh, uh, holy spider queen. <laughs> that is indeed the truth. I didn't notice you. Are you a court detective? <laughs> yes, but uh, how did you know that? 
it say so on your door? Is that so? Oh, surely it does. The sign has been hung up there recently. I forgot about that. And you, you might be... I'm the new prosecutor, Aidan Fair. Infinitely glad to meet you, Infinitely. Mr. Uh, Looney! Detective <laughs> Looney, <laughs> at your service. <laughs> oh, yes. You and I will have to work closely together. All these scoundrels will not put themselves in a, will not put themselves in a cell, you know. Uh, obviously. How exactly do prosecutors and detectives work together? Well, you see, oh dear. I have, fortunately, <laughs> I have this well thought out and quite uh, quite lengthy explanation. <laughs> My task is to arrive at the scene of the alleged crime, search and analyze evidence, look for suspects, interrogation of suspects, search of the witnesses, ordering an expertise, preparing documents for the secretary. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. Uh, <laughs> Drawing up detention protocols, receiving autopsy results. Wait, wait, wait. wait, <laughs> wait. <clears throat> and if we sum up, how are we going to work together? T together? Well, Mr. Fair, look, my duty is to investigate the case and prepare all the evidence for you, all the facts. Every morning, the fact book for each new case will already be prepared and waiting for you in the courtroom. The Supreme Collegium has, a, has set a very clear quota. The court... The court <laughs> must ensure that at least three case trials are heard every day. Ah, uh, there we go into the papers, please stuff. Ah, mm. okay. Because that was because that's basically how the papers, please system is set up, right? Is like okay. you get you get uh, money based on how many people you actually successfully get through the uh, checkpoint each day. Okay. okay. And then if you if you bung it up because you know you stamped a document <laughs> that you shouldn't have or whatever. Um, then you lose money. You know, right. we're, we're like Detective Gumshoe, where, you know, our pay will probably get docked. <laughs> docked? Going to the negative figures. We, we, we'll have to pay them <laughs> to work. Paying them back. <laughs> okay, so that's, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. I'm not super, I haven't, I never got really far through papers, please. So, mm. like, I don't know, I, I know some of it, but I don't know about the, kind of, where it goes. Mm. Three court trials? Every day? Uh, yeah. I don't envy you. <laughs> you will have an even less time to work than I do, colleague. <laughs> While I rush around the city with the guardsmen, investigating one crime after another, it remains your responsibility to use these facts in order to put the culprits in jail. But, hmm. uh, but what if the person is not guilty? <laughs> well, p p please don't insult me. I carefully prepare every court case for all the prosecutors. There can be absolutely no mistakes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay, this is not going to come into play at a long later, and it's going to be a corrupt system. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, it means that all the suspects who got into the courtroom are unquestionably guilty? Is that what you're implying? <laughs> oh, and... <laughs> so hmm? That'll be the thing where it's saying, oh, you know, sometimes losing a court case is part of it. Because that's the other thing in Papers, Please, is there are times when somebody doesn't have the right documentation, but they're like a nice person or they make a convincing argument for, you know, why they should be able to get into the country. Mm. And so we might be in a case where it's like it's little orphan Annie, you know, who's being accused of murdering three people. <laughs> it's like, Whoa. oh, she's unquestionably guilty. <laughs> I didn't do it, sir. Hmm. I was just in the wrong place at the wrong time. <laughs> <laughs> in order for suspects to be under the, to be under trial, there must be enough evidence against them. And according to the laws of Nadragia, proving one's innocence is the responsibility of the defendant. I, I will also say I can't remember if we said in the opening because we 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 had to record the opening about five times. <laughs> but, um, uh, yep. Well, I can't remember if we, if we said on this one uh, whether we sort of argued whether it's Nadragia or Nadragia. I'm not quite sure. I hope it wasn't on this one. Yeah, I hope we're not butchering it. But uh, I guess for the sake of this, we're going to keep pronouncing it Nadragia just so that yeah, we're not. Just, we're sorry if it's sorry not. if that's not quite what it is. You, <laughs> we're sorry. We weren't informed of what the pronunciations of things are, so. <laughs> Just have to bear with us. Apologies. Uh, according to the laws of Najaji, approving one's innocence is the responsibility of the defendant. But I assume that you, as a prosecutor, already know of this. Of course. Uh, oh, of course, I, I do know that, but, but I have my doubts. Uh, 
What if during the trial I realise that the suspect is innocent? Uh, hypothetically speaking. Well, uh, then you can drop the charges off of them, and the person will be acquitted and released. That sounds promising. But I wouldn't recommend it. Both your and mine careers depend on the number of successful convictions. So convict everybody! <laughs> if the valuable time of civil servants will be waste used wastefully, and the prisons are empty, uh, then questions will arise not only for me. Believe me, I would be glad to say that you, the prosecutor, do not depend on my work. Uh, but that would be utter deception on my part. You and I are in the same boat, Mr. Fair. I, as the Supreme Collegium, as the King... What? D okay. Wait, he's the I, king. as the Supreme Collegium, as the King, rely on you. I, I think he's saying that all oh, three every, of them everyone, rely on him. Everyone relies uh, on him. Sorry, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, okay, okay. I. You and I are in the same boat, Mr. Fair. I, as the Supreme Collegium, as the King, rely on you. Oh. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I. Yeah. Now, now that you've you've pointed it out, yeah, mm -hmm. I get it now. I'm just being stupid. Mm. No, no, no. It's it, I, I. You know, I can get why that would be confusing. Oh, yes. Well, since we figured out the basics, then we should get down to work stuff. All righty then. My report here says that for some reason you are going to have only two trials today, not three. The first case is a murder one. Everything is pretty simple there. In the village nearby, a guardsman was found on the street. Stab wound to the head. Oof. Oh. Ouch. Ouch. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> yes. And there was a bloody garden hoe. Shaky. <laughs> a new one. Blue. No doubt the murder weapon. Ouch. When questioned, one of the residents indicated that his neighbor, a certain Ike Illerman, had such a hoe. Mm-hmm. Of course, I, I know, there's the phrasing. <laughs> phrasing! <laughs> it's like, mm -hmm. Of course, I sent guards to detain him. Illiman resisted, but no, and no blue hoe was found among his tools. <laughs> well, uh, uh, your second case today concerns an attempted theft. <laughs> Two days ago, a military warehouse of Saltpeter was robbed in the south of the city. They stole, wait a second, you, yes, 18 barrels. Salt, Peter? A substance with explosive properties. Gunpowder is made of it. For cannons and those newfangled muskets. Ah, uh, yes, very newfangled. <laughs> <laughs> the act of theft was caught by two guardsmen patrolling the territory. They chased after a cart in which the barrels were being loaded. <laughs> of, of course, the guardsmen did not catch up of the horse-drawn carriage, but the guard was able to see one of the thieves. The description of his appearance, despite the fact that he was wearing a mask, coincided with the well-known rogue, rid, uh, res, res, recidivist. 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 That's a word I'm not really generally for, uh, used to saying, I will admit. Mm. Coincided with the well-known rogue, recidivist, and anarchist, Topsy Gyno. Y yeah, it's definitely him, I'm telling you. Topsy had evaded justice many times already. I hope that at least you can have him hanged. Okay. <laughs> just, right. just straight out All of it. All right. Yep. No. Uh, but, oh. Uh, yep. Thanks for Sorry, the that short was, recap. That was. <laughs> uh, 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 no. 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 I have a few other prosecutors besides you waiting for tomorrow's case files. You should not worry that much. All the files are already waiting for you on the table in the courtroom. Now, please don't interrupt me. I have tons of work ahead. All right then. And that's. That's that guys, uh, guys, I detect that there may be some flaws within this new legal yeah. system. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling some suspect, um, sussy stuff. Sussy, sussy, sussy stuff. <laughs> I can't. I don't know what I was gonna say. <laughs> so that's, I guess, that's, that's the courtroom. So let's have a little, quick, little wander. Let's have a, have a stroll. So we've got Ooh, what's that? Oh, a map. A map. The Dark Lands, and the land of Satan. I mean, Satan. <laughs> well, I mean, they look like they're pretty cool because they got a pirate with a what they got a skull. Yeah. And then a there's the sea the monster. Sp I hope we get to see the sea monster in the game. Oh, it's a you big ass too. scorpion. <laughs> and then, okay, this doesn't do anything. And let's have a look over here. What's over here? A room. Oh, an office. And ah, the the the, the jail cell. The prison. The prison. Oh, even oh, I see. Is Maya Faye in here? <laughs> 
Really, Nick? What? Oh, dear. Oh. Ah, uh, got it. Uh, wait a minute. I don't have it with me. I'll ask the guard and... They will not kill. Oh, dear. How so? After all, everyone, even prisoners, are allowed to have water. <laughs> Aren't they? <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, uh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> do, you, do you want to, say? do you want to give, do you want to do this, gentlemen? Oh, or? God. Well, I mean, you could Taylor as well, but I figured Taylor wants to do the, the, uh, He's the op- punished. Okay. Attacked a guard who came to give him water. Oh. That's not true. Well, maybe we should- He won't get any water soon, not until he thinks about his behavior while I stare in the mirror and admire my good looks. (laughs) Don't worry, colleague prosecutor. I won't let him die. Not on my shift. And it's not like he's dying yet. Yes, I am. (laughs) (laughs) If you want to speak with him, then go ahead and ask your questions. But do not tell me how to conduct rehabilitation. That's my job, and you should do yours. Is he going to be on trial today? Uh, this one? Uh, no, not today, uh, and certainly not tomorrow. Why is he here? And has he been jailed for a long time? It's been 84 <laughs> years. <laughs> He was rude to the authorities, a city guard, and he's been here, uh, it's probably about a month. It's already the fifth time I've had a hearing postponed. The fifth time? How? Why? First, they changed the judge. Uh, the judge appointed to his case was executed for treason. Uh, okay. <laughs> I had to look for a new one. <laughs> Jesus. All right, then. All right. Then there were no witnesses. Yes, the witnesses were executed for being witnesses. <laughs> we had to find new ones. Yes, and the detective asked for more time to investigate. Then the hearing was postponed. It was a fire at the coal factory. Uh, Madam Chief Justice changed the day of hearing for a uh, uh, higher priority case. And then, then, I, I do not remember. This is horrible. And how long will be will he be sitting here? Uh, until a trial is held over him. It's not for me to tell you, prosecutor, that there is no maximum restriction of temporary detention in the law. Which makes it sound a little bit less than temporary, but (laughs) anyone who questions it gets thrown in indefinitely for treason, so you know. And as I have already said, this does not concern you at all, colleague. Sooner or later he will get his punishment, be sure of that. Did somebody say punishment? Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh yeah, that's uh, that's our new uh, chief justice. Actually, he's uh, he's on loan from an exchange program. <laughs> I believe it's uh, it's a Mr. Monokuma. <laughs> <sighs> I'm not sure we've been acquainted yet. I am crude. Crude. <laughs> that's my name, not my. That's my name, not my demeanor. In charge of the temporary detention cells in this wonderful place. And you are the new prosecutor, I presume? Uh, yes. I was just appointed. Aiden Fair. I am glad we've got new recruits in our ranks, and not from some... commoners, <laughs> eh? <laughs> I can immediately spot our guy. You're a bastard, right? I beg your pardon. <laughs> what? Oh, is, is that so obvious? Well, no. It's just that under this new directive, prosecutors were recruited from bastards. Therefore, I made an obvious assumption. Edgeworth, I didn't know that you were recruited under this program as well. (laughs) Believe me, Rice. Once I get my hands on you, 
You're going in jail for a very long time. <laughs> this idea of beheading sounds quite interesting. <laughs> Bring it back. <laughs> I hope that you, colleague, will come here from time to time. We'll have something to discuss. I'm sure. Uh, by the way, you've been assigned to courtroom number two. Your prisoners are usually put in cells on the lower levels. Anyhow, you won't have time to chat with them anyway. <laughs> Uh, the accused, they're not prisoners yet? Ah. They're not prisoners yet, sorry. <laughs> uh, I call them whatever you like, colleague. This does not change much. Well, I still have some paperwork to fill out. Come back tomorrow, prosecutor. It's easy to deal with me. You know, maybe if you spent more time, like, less time flicking your hair and actually doing your paperwork, you'd actually get something done around see, here. See, that's, 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 that's a lot to of die in here. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> so, anyway, we'll just, uh, truck along. Do, 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 do. So, I guess we'll go in here, then. Yes, we'll go to the court, baby. <laughs> oh. oh, start working in court. We'll no longer be able to walk around the castle. Okay, well, hang on. Let's see if we can go in anywhere else real quick. This doesn't, yeah, not clickable. What about this? That doesn't, that's not clickable either, is Are it? Are you still wandering red? <laughs> <laughs> for, God, for God's sake, man. <laughs> Don't you know how to count? Oh, wait, what oh, happened? Oh, what was that? Did you just find some gold lying on the ground? I Proof! I don't, Proof. Even, I don't even see what happened. Treason! I, th I saw like a little, a pop-up, I yeah, guess. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't even... No idea. Uh, okay. <laughs> we're just grabbing mystery things now. Is, no. it, is it a hint coin? <laughs> now, oh, that we're, <laughs> now that we're like halfway through the episode, let's uh, let's go to court. <laughs> Trial begins! Oh. Oh, so your excellency finally took their time to appear in court in person. Did you sleep well? Oh, uh, good afternoon. I got d delayed by some circumstances. Ha! <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm just making fun of you, silly. It's the same with all the rookies around here. My name is Glum, Prosecutor Glum. No relation to Professor Plum, you understand. <laughs> but you can just call me Glum. A uh, pleasure to meet you. I'm Aiden, Aiden Fair. But from now on, try to come to court on. <laughs> we're we're in trouble, guys. <laughs> <laughs> From now on, try to come to court on time. We're running out of time, anyway, as always. Well, the cart that drove me to the castle had a wheel knocked off by a stone or something halfway here. I had to run. And I also wanted to explore all the rest of the castle for <laughs> no reason. I had this, this, uh, this urge that I couldn't resist. Shh. Like someone was controlling me. <laughs> <laughs> so, our immediate superior is Madam Chief Justice. She can't meet you today and ask me to personally check your skills. Therefore, today, according to the plan, you have the first training court trial with me, and then two real ones. And also, keep in mind, this training trial is more for you than for me. If you can't get a verdict in time during training or deny the case, you'll still have to go to the real ones. I see. I have no experience as a prosecutor. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> as with almost all the new prosecutors appointed by the Supreme Collegium, it's okay. You'll get to figure it out soon enough. Okay, to the point. As you may have noticed, there are two documents in front of you. The code of laws and facts of this case. Uh, think of them as your personal cheat sheets, which you can use during the trial. In the course of the trial, new facts may appear, or some of the existing laws may, may I've change. I've updated the laws. I have updated, updated the laws. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God. Pray I don't update it any further. Okay. Some of the ex ex <laughs> existing laws may change. It's a barely of a thing, really. <laughs> there was one time where they made murder illegal during the course of the case, only for it to be illegal right again five minutes before the end. <laughs> during the trial, the judge, the accused, and the witnesses will make speeches, declare something, watch closely what they say, pay attention to the furtive glance. <laughs> Your task is simple enough. Check the laws and facts with what they say and protest right away, pointing to an article of the law or a fact. You're right, sir. 
yeah, yeah. Is it? Is it? I, I don't. I don't suppose it's Taylor. Your voice. Are you doing? Are you trying to do like an impression of Matt Berry? Because that's <laughs> I all I can. Don't know what the hell I'm doing it, with this voice. I'm just. I love it. I'm like. I'm hearing a Matt Berry twang, and I like it because it really goes with the like, character. Like it is. Funny. It, it kind of does. <laughs> yeah. No. Agreed. But I'm, yeah. I'm glad you got it as well. Yeah. Just like, I'm loving yeah, it. Yeah, like, I, I realized I was kind of doing it. I wasn't, like, intending to, but that's just kind of the the, the, <laughs> the course it takes. It's, it's the kind of the, the absolute nonchalance of, like, what would what should what should, what should should really stand out as something quite alarming. And he's just saying, like, oh, yeah, like, the laws the laws can change what, mid-court, like, mid-case. It's not a problem. In fact, there was one case where murder was made legal. And, what, and it's just, like, <laughs> yeah. it's just so very Matt Berry. <laughs> I By know the way, did you bring your uh, your Parker with you? Because the executions do tend to get a little messy. They don't provide <laughs> them to you. <laughs> I'm afraid to say. <laughs> yep. There was this one time a judge was a donkey. <laughs> a donkey. <laughs> and I don't just mean a jackass. It was a literal donkey. <laughs> oh dear. Hmm. Got that. But how do I know when to protest? When is there a contradiction? What do you mean by how? This is the job of a real prosecutor. Listen, where where is the you, voice like going Chris now? Chris Walken. <laughs> Chris <laughs> Walken. Chris <laughs> Walken. <laughs> what do you mean a by how? <laughs> what do you mean by how? This is the job of a real prosecutor. Listen carefully to the testimony and find contradictions in it. You have to think about every sentence said in court. No one will stand behind you and whisper all the answers in your ear. I'm the see. I think I think by being made aware of it now, it's now I've you, lost it. I'm it's gone. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry, Taylor. I'm sorry, Taylor. It was just it was really cool and it was amusing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, me too. No, it's fine. <laughs> you have to keep in mind everything that was said earlier and quickly analyze the situation. Uh, oh, uh, that sounds difficult. Well, that's what we're here for. To test your skill, I, I, it's gone. It's, well, it's, it's it, <laughs> you've, you've managed to drift it away from Christopher Walken, which is good. But then it's, yeah, just, I don't know, just I'll do relax and go with the flow. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's, again, it's whatever. Let's give it a try. Open the law book on the first page. Uh, oh, okay. <clears throat> I'm oh, going right. to say a phrase now, and you're going to try to find a contradiction within the law, okay? Only the king can change the laws of Nadrajia, like the time when he changed the murder oh. right in the middle of the case. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. Something is wrong. I think that there is a law or a fact that I need to point out oh. right now. What? You are slightly the the, the code slightly, can be changed by the united will of the king and the supreme collegium. Mm. Ooh, this one. Yes. It is written in the law book that the laws can only be changed by the king together with the Supreme Collegium. True. <clears throat> As you can see, you're not completely hopeless, huh? Good. Now we are going to conduct your test trial. Was it what you did just a test? What you just did a test? Was it what you just did a test? <laughs> That's funny. I wouldn't even dare to say it is very witty, colleague. But no, now we are going to test you. And as I've already told you, no one else will tell you which page to look for and what to say anymore. Oh no. Uh -oh. We're on our own, <laughs> The guys. stabilizers are off, folks. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Study all the pages of the laws and facts in front of you. And don't be in a rush. You'll always have time before the trial to look through everything. I okay. hope so, because it's timed. <laughs> so, okay, so let's, so the, t so the time is not running yet. So mm. let's have a quick look. So the codes and laws. Directed jointly by the King of the Supreme Collegium. The code unifies crimes and punishments in the Dragia. The code can be changed by the King and the Collegium. The current version is sent by the government to the courts daily. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> Judicial procedure. The defendant is brought to the court if there are sufficient grounds of, or evidence. The defendant has the right has the right only to personally defend himself in court. The defendant mm. must prove that he is not guilty. The guilty verdict is subject to immediate execution. Lovely. Yowzers. 
Murder Cheering. or assault on a state <laughs> servant, death by execution. Theft of state property, death by execution. An attempt at a coup or revolution or a call for it, death by execution. Possession of any explosives, death by execution. Unauthorized entry into the state. Bumping property. into a guard, believe it or not, also execution. <laughs> death <laughs> by execution. I think you de it's death by execution, I wonder, guys. I, I'm curious what the population count is in this, <laughs> in this place, honestly. It's like, it's I, well, you rapidly. know, it was a bit higher before we changed all the laws, but now as we a little bit, uh, we've reduced it, I think, to two digits. I guess <laughs> they, I guess they must have just changed them, because otherwise you'd think there'd be like a huge pile of bodies next to the gallows outside when mm. we walked in. Oh, Enjoy. there was. They just cleared it out this morning. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then we've got the case. The vegetable vendor Glum is accused of murder. The deceased is a fruit vendor Bloom. The cause of death was a musket shot to the head. Glum was apprehended by a musket. Sorry, with a musket. Next to Bloom's body by the chief okay. guard drum. Study all the pages of the laws and facts in front of you. And don't be in a rush. You'll always have time before the trial. Oh, I've already said this line. Yeah, you have. I just like hearing the sound of my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> I was just I just thought we should have a look through these just before we sort of get yeah. before we get like mm -hmm. deep into it. The barn has no windows. Mm. Oh no, they're gonna get confused as to who's who. The barn <laughs> has no windows. <laughs> okay. Have you ever been to the theater? Consider it a performance, like in a theater. I will play the roles of judge and defendant, and you will be yourself. Well, are you ready? Then I'll become a judge. <laughs> <laughs> Scene change. How do you like me now? A natural judge, aren't I? <laughs> What's so funny? Oh, come on. At work, you don't often get a chance to officially have some now, fun dressing up. Now he looks like Renum at the friggin' secret millionaire, like the party. Yes, yes he does. <laughs> He's got the beauty spot. We're doing everything. secret millionaire in here. <laughs> I feel like <coughs> secret millionaire. <coughs> secret millionaire. <coughs> <laughs> Greetings, colleague prosecutor. Is the prosecution ready? Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, Glum. Uh, I, I mean, uh, yes, Your Honor. I I'm ready. Lovely. Are you ready, accused? <laughs> Ready, minute. Your Honor. I so you should have like the same voice. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, ready, My Your Honor. My God, I'm good. <laughs> How do I do it? <laughs> I declare the court session Nadragia against the accused Glum open. Timer starts now. Oh, there it is. Uh -oh. Yeah, you can see it's it's ticking away. Oh shoot! So right, so I guess we have to what? Oh, no, don't that... drop the charges. Oh wait, so that... oh that's a button. Did we you can... not pay attention to a single thing I said? <laughs> I was just looking. So I guess okay. So that's a button to drop the charges. Then yeah. what's this? So this is <laughs> dedication <laughs> allows you to make a mistake without time penalty. Pass it. Remaining uses one. So how do you? Okay. Uh, I... Actually, wait. So that's the. That's the beat up one. <laughs> that's the that's the prosecutor. <laughs> you can start by declaring the accusation statement of the case. Okay. Uh oh. Um, okay. I think I missed something. I need to point out the law or fact that contradicts contradicts what has been said. Okay, sorry. What is a contradink? A uh, <laughs> contradinky. A contradinky dink. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not used to it. Kind of, I guess, because like with the Phoenix Wright stuff, it kind of the text goes green or something, and it kind of sort of go. It's like, mm. okay, now's the time for you to then interact. And so mm. with it just kind of being like, oh yeah, do the thing, but then it's not sort of, it's no, it's not sort of suggesting that it's different to the rest of the yeah, dialogue. Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, the timer. Okay, start by declaring the. We gotta talk fast. Yeah, yeah, okay, so next that. page. Is that is that all the statements? Oh no. no. So it was that. So it was. So it was that one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Defendant Gubb is charged with murder, Your Honor. Is that so? Uh, many memo again. <laughs> it means that today we have a murderer in court. I object! Until there is a guilty verdict, I should be called the accused, not the murderer. Denied. This is a training <laughs> trial. You are me, which means you can't protest to yourself. Now it's Christopher Walken again. <laughs> ho ho! You should do it. No, you should. Yeah, you, you should, the main one should be Matt Berry, and he should be Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> well, or again, the Matt Berry doing a Christopher Walken impression. 
prosecutor, I ask you to continue. Point after point. Who died? Uh, the, the fruit, deceased yeah. the fruit vendor. A certain fruit vendor named Bloom, your honor. He was killed by a musket shot to the head. Did he not have any time to dodge? <laughs> <laughs> From a musket shot, are these long-barreled powder guns that the city guards carry? That should mean that the suicide can be ruled out. I object. There are also short-barreled muskets. These are issued to guards of a higher rank. It's <laughs> just ridiculous. Is that so? I love it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know about that. Prosecutor, is it known what kind of barrel the musket had from which the shot was fired? Short or long one? Okay, so the cause of death of the musket shot to the head is apprehended. Oh, well, there's a picture of it. There uh... is a picture. This... Oh, I... All right, okay, I guess we'll click here. Ah. Uh, there's a lead, Your Honor. There was a musket next to the body. According to this high-quality detective's drawing... Hey! <clears throat> the musket looks like... Uh, looks one-handed and with a short barrel. Well, it's a shame when a man has a short barrel, but I would never know anything about that. Hmm, <laughs> intriguing. Very intriguing. Just noticed it's got DR on the bottom of it. Oh, yeah. Muskets are not so easy to get, and if I remember correctly from your words, the defendant is a simple merchant. Is it known where he got this musket from? Oh, crap. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. Right, okay, so... Worked in the same... Alongside worked in the same drum. market in the same... Uh, okay. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, yes, Your Honor. The musket belongs to the one who captured Glum at the scene of the crime. Guard Chief Drum. Wow. The musket of the Guard Chief. I think we should hear the testimony of the witnesses. Um, yes, Your Honor. Uh, colleague Drum, please take the witness stand. Uh <laughs> I am glad to serve the people, the Supreme Collegium, and the King. <laughs> uh, okay. <laughs> colleague Drum. Do you like my collection of costumes? <laughs> I keep them underneath and all at handy at all times, as you never know when you might need a disguise. That's what's in the crate. That is when my ex-wife yeah. came to try to find- Oh wait, we're on a timer. Yep. I guess that's what's in the crates over here, I suspect. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Colleague Drum, please tell the court your version of the events that day. Certainly. It was evening and my service was coming to an end. I decided to have a couple of drinks at the tavern. Are you allowed to drink on duty? <laughs> Not on duty, no, your honor. But there are no directives, no prohibitions on my actions after the end of duty. I literally drank only a couple of beers, after which I heard a shot. Where exactly did the shots come from? From the barn at the tavern, where animals are kept, such as my ex-wife. Oh, I see. Uh... Who oh, are you? Never mind. <laughs> You're that guy. <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember exactly how many shots were fired? Well, it's a musket, so probably only one. <laughs> um, one shot. And probably there could not have been many of them if they were fired from a single musket. <laughs> Loading a musket is long well. and hard. <laughs> and by that time, I had already <laughs> reacted. Sure. And what did you do? Of course, I rushed to check who was shooting. I thought that someone might need my assistance. When I rushed inside, there were two people in the barn. One of them, Bloom, was lying on the ground. Blood was pouring from his head, and Apple was lying nearby. I thought it was a William Tell situation, but uh, <laughs> no, it was just a musket. He was already dead. Five meters away from the body, near the entrance, Glum was kneeling. The musket lay beside him, and the air smelled of gunpowder. Mm. I immediately <clears throat> grabbed my musket and arrested Glum. Your musket? No. <laughs> That's right, Your Honor. I don't remember exactly when my musket disappeared, but I'm pretty sure Glum stole it. 
The long, the length and hardness of my barrel has oftentimes been the object of jealousy from other men. <laughs> ah, yes, I can tell as much by looking at you, sir. You strike me as a strapping man. I object. It could be anyone's musket. No, only my musket had that kind of girth and prominence to it. It's just, there is absolutely no way to differentiate who's speaking. It's just like when you're doing a bit and I'm just like, oh my god, who the hell's talking? <laughs> Are you trying to criticize my range, sir? I will have you know I graduated from Juilliard. <sighs> this is my musket. It can't be a coincidence that my musket disappeared and another stolen musket was fired a moment later. And do you have any proof that this is your musket? So wait, uh, accuse... Gl it's so, the DR, because he's... I'm afraid, Mr. Glum. Oh, yeah, drum. DR, yeah. Yeah, because he's got it on his helmet as well. Yeah. <laughs> I'm afraid, Mr. Glum, that we have irrefutable evidence. This is Drum's musket. Take a look at the musket itself. Two carved letters are clearly visible on it. D and R. What? This is an abbreviation of the name Drum. Isn't that right, Mr. Drum? Did you carve your own name onto your musket? Yes. You see, I was very proud when I was given this musket. I decided to make it more personal. This, of course, is not according to the statute, but uh, many high-ranking guardsmen do this. I'm just waiting for the modification to firearms punishable by, by execution. <laughs> oh, bother. Uh, so that's about the code. No, it's not mine. <laughs> what kind of society doesn't let a man carve his initials into his musket, I say? <laughs> Theft of state property, but not damage of state property. Mm. Okay. So you, Mr. Glum, actually stole this musket from Drum. Objection! That is conjecture. <laughs> I, I don't. No, I'm not. Well, okay. Maybe I borrowed this musket from Drum, but that doesn't prove that I killed Bloom. Bloom was my friend. Anyone could have entered this barn, ah. shot him, and oh. left unnoticed. But see, and leave unnoticed. But the door was locked. Uh, Mr. Drum, in your testimony, you missed one important detail that is listed on my list of facts. Was it a closed room mystery? <laughs> I'm sorry, a closed, a locked room, room mystery. mystery. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, and which one exactly? You didn't mention that the door to the barn at the tavern was locked. Oh, uh, yes, precisely. <laughs> uh, when I ran up to the barn, it was closed. I shouted for the door to be unlocked, but there was no answer. I had to kick down the door. Uh, let me clarify. Locked from the inside? Yes. It was a simple door with latches inside and outside. Only the inner one was closed. Which is exactly what we need to prove, Your Honor. The accused Glum was the only one who could have fired the shot. Only he could close the door from the inside. Lies! You're all lying. You're just jealous of my musket. I knew it. The criminal could have escaped through the window. No windows. Alas, Mr. Glum, but you are not focused enough. The fact is that there are no windows in this barn. Damn. How? It can't be. I'm afraid it can, Mr. Glum. You stole a musket and shot Bloom in cold blood in the barn. No one else could have done it except you. You were alone in a room locked from the inside. <laughs> it really messes with me that the guy's called like Drum and what the other one's Glum, Glum. But, but then it's not. But then it's not Blum. It's Bloom. Bloom, yeah. Is the is the, is the, the murderer? Uh, sorry, the um, the victim. Lighten your soul and confess. But you missed something. Hmm. What are you speaking of, exactly? Why would I do that? Why would I kill Bloom, and much so in a crowded tavern? Uh, they worked at the same market and were competitors. I don't know why they'd do it in the tavern, mind, but... Yep. Everything is simple, Mr. Glum. You and Bloom were competitors in the same market. You were selling vegetables, and Bloom was selling fruits. 
Oh, he was a fruit, all right. <laughs> you decided to remove a competitor. No! 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 <laughs> it wasn't like that. <laughs> <laughs> Not like that. And how exactly? Spit it out, Mr. Glum. Clear your conscience. It was an accident. I wasn't going to kill him. We were just having fun. You know, you get a few drinks in you and you start having bets with the mates and I bet him I could pick an apple off of his head with a gun. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, uh, well, my aim might have been a bit errant uh. on account of the five pints of beer I had consumed prior to the event. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> having fun with guns? How is that? Were you out of your mind? I... I can't take it anymore. I refuse to answer this question. I think I know of everything I need to understand his motive. There must be some object that will indicate why he and Bloom went to the barn with a musket. Oh, oh all right then. Oh, ooh, ooh, the time! Ooh. Oh, God! We can't be quick and we randomly! Can't, oh, uh -oh. Gee, I just, okay, uh, there must be some object that will indicate It's why. gotta be the apple the that apple. fell on the ground, right? Uh, what's it this? Yeah, because I guess it... Really? So that's the thing. I now understand what you and Bloom were doing in the barn. They were apple bobbing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> but how could you have been so dumb? Well, I don't understand a thing, calling prosecutor, enlighten the court about your revelation. The apple, your honor. Glum and Bloom stole a musket and went to the barn to hit the bullseye. Is that a euphemism? <laughs> I've often hit the bullseye in my day, but never heard it referred to quite by those words. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> yes, your honor. <laughs> Glum wasn't aiming at Bloom, but instead at the apple that Bloom placed on his head. It, oh my god, I literally was right. It, yeah. <laughs> Oh, the one God, be he righteous. Ah. But why, colleague prosecutor? Glum doesn't look like an idiot. He looks like a very handsome and intelligent man, <laughs> if I do have to say so myself. They couldn't have been so stupid not to guess how it would end, could they? Oh. Oh, Damn my it. God. <laughs> okay. So he uh, was drunk. But why, colleague prosecutor? Yeah, so it had the... During the arrest, he was drunk. I think... Yeah, yeah it's gotta be that he was drunk. I'm afraid, Your Honor, they were drunk. When Glum was detained, he was completely intoxicated. Mr. Glum, did you really shoot your friend while trying to knock an apple off his head? I have never been so insulted in my <laughs> life, sir. <laughs> yes. Yes, that's what happened. Just like you said. Damn it, me. Why Bloom am I so I... stupid? <laughs> <laughs> I admit, Your Honor, you are a very handsome and intelligent man, and so I have no choice but to say that Bloom and I got drunk that night, and I don't exactly remember which one of us offered to steal the musket, <laughs> but this drum of yours didn't watch after it at all. To take that musket, it was a piece of cake. I remember that after a couple of minutes, we were already happily ran outside. We entered the barn and closed the latch so that no one would disturb us. I know this is going to sound sexual, but I assure you in this particular instance, it was not. It does sound a little And then he bit. went to the other end of the barn, and then he put the he bullseye out for me to see, and then bade me hit it. And he, yeah, he lowered his trousers. He bade me tap it. Oh my goodness. When I realized what I had done, I didn't know what to do. Our families were so close. Oh, one God, what will his wife say? This does sound sexual, out of context. <laughs> it does it really like, does. Okay. <coughs> this is all extremely sad, Mr. Glum, but law is the law. Bother. <laughs> Wait. Ha! The law is the law, right? Ha ha! 
You can't execute me for killing him. I beg your pardon? Code of Laws and Punishment of the Drajia, Article 1. Murder or assault on a state servant. But he's got, he's got theft of state property. He stole right. the gun. <laughs> oh my god. Oh! Colleague, I don't follow your conclusions. Please be more thoughtful. Code of Laws and Punishments of the Drajia, Article 1. Murder or assault on a state servant. Okay. Bloom never served the state. He was a simple merchant like me. Ha! You have no law to execute me. Yes, we do. <laughs> Code okay. of it looks as though you've clicked the picture of the banana, my dear friend. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not the act. You look like you clicked the banana. Not the picture of the banana. Pedal too. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Code of Laws and Punishments of Nadragia, Article 2. Theft of state property. What? But I didn't steal anything from the state. It was quick of you for to, to forget, Mr. Glum, but the musket is a weapon issued to the guardsmen of the kingdom state of Nadragia. No. No, 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 no! Bother. Well, <laughs> bother. Don't do this. Listen to me. I have a family. I have, I have children. Who I see occasionally, and I remember one or two of their names. It was an accident. That's no way to talk about your children. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, the wife didn't want me to wrap it up. I have no idea what else I could do in the situation. When you paint a target that clearly, I'm afraid there's nothing else to be done. I've heard enough, Mr. Glum, vegetable merchant at a local market. Although you are very handsome and intelligent, I have no choice but to agree with the prosecution. <laughs> no, that Pursuant to Article 2 of the Code of Laws and Punishment of Nadraja, you are sentenced to death by firing squad. Firing squad. Whoa. They're not hanging him. They're just Oof. straight up shooting. <laughs> You'll meet a fate this, similar to your friend. Oof. I was going to feel bad for making the body jokes, but I think when we're talking about firing squads and executions, we're talking about a slightly more mature uh, <laughs> theme. Hmm. Take him away. Woo! Well, we can stop this theater now. I don't know if you realize this, but it was actually me the entire time. <laughs> what? No, no way! way. <laughs> I know, I know, it might be hard to believe, but my acting prowess is such that I am able to take on multiple roles simultaneously. <laughs> and you were great, I tell you. Okay. You gave me a beating, huh? I told you you'd get used to it quickly. So I will say the timer has paused now, you'll see. Oh, okay, so. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh God! I hope that's not the timer we have to use for all three cases, or we well, are up we had, S Creek said, without a paddle. We had two cases. I suppose this was the. I suppose maybe this was the trial. I was case. Say maybe, yeah, so maybe we have two after this with yeah. half the thing left. Oh, uh oh, uh, thank you. And you play your role incredibly well. Thank you, thank <laughs> I you. Know. I, I would give you an autograph, but I'm afraid I don't have the paper with me. <laughs> you know what they say, the court is a stage, and all the men and women merely players. Um, I think that's what it said anyway. I'm not sure that this phrase sounds like that. No, it was Billy Shakespeare. I knew him <laughs> back in the day, <laughs> I think. Isn't it? Well, it doesn't matter. I'm sure you'll make an excellent prosecutor. A couple of tips for last. Remember that you always have time before the start of the trial to study all the laws and facts about the case, which God help you all, you will need most certainly. <laughs> <laughs> Do not interrupt the judge or witnesses without a reason. It is better to think longer before unreason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was pretty. I, mean, I feel I mean, personally I attacked mean. right now. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> It is better to think long and hard before unreasonably shouting out facts. He didn't say and hard. <laughs> well. Yes, he did. In my head, he did. Mm -hmm. At the same time, check every phrase, every word spoken in court before continuing the conversation. Always think, are there any contradictions with facts or laws? I mean, I guess I see why they haven't like changed the colors of the text, because mm -hmm. I suppose they want to maybe have it that it's kind of difficult to tell yeah. when, you, when to actually sort of interject. But I feel it's, it's kind of punishing how it could just be like, no, 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 you lose a massive chunk of time yeah, for yeah. misjudging that. Mm -hmm. I like, I get it, but it's interesting. 
If you understand that the accused is not guilty, then you can refuse the prosecution in the trial. Of course, only until a verdict is passed or he confesses. That's when you get out of the thumbscrews if all else fails. <laughs> Hmm, what else? Oh, yes, not all the facts that you have written down will always be necessary and useful to you. Your job, among other things, is to understand what is relevant and what is not. But at the same time, do not throw some fact or law out of your head just because you have already used it in court. It may come in handy again. And finally, do not forget to speak with your colleagues before the trial. Perhaps some useful acquaintances will help you in the future. Thank you, Glum. You've literally helped me out today. I don't know what I would do in a real court without I, this I training. don't know why you said literally. There's not a figurative way to help you in this instance, <laughs> but fine. <laughs> oh, dear. So, uh, what's the time? <laughs> what's the well, what is the time? As it turns out, I'm afraid I think we may be out of time for today's episode. So we can't even uh, we can't even finish his dialogue tree. <laughs> so what's the time? Wow, we're a little late here. Your first real case is about to begin. I was trying to have a dramatic exit, but fine. <laughs> and don't worry so much. If you can repeat what you just did, you'll be an outstanding prosecutor. Hey. Guilty verdict achieved. I suppose I'll have to go and hang myself now. Oh God. Oh wow. All right, and we're straight, straight into in. the next. Oh one. no, we get full time. New okay. time. Okay, that's good. So with okay. that. So with that, yeah, that seems like yeah. a good place to, this, to pause for now. This does seem like a good place to pause. Yes. And so, <laughs> well, thank you very much for watching, everybody. We hope you enjoyed uh, these this demo playthrough of Laws of uh, Nadragia. Yes. Uh, which there will be details down in the description below of how yes. you can get your hands on it, uh, yes. or at least add it to your wish list if you're interested. Mm. Uh, thank you once again, Fuzzy Pixel, for sending us the code and don't forget if you enjoy what we do why don't you hit that like button hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified of our future video uploads which will usually be on wednesdays or saturdays i don't know when we're going to put future videos of this up we'll see at some point yes <laughs> and if you do if you do really find yourself enjoying this stuff why don't you watch some of our other content we are we are quite a way through playing the great ace attorney at the yes. moment and we're sort of well into uh, yeah, we're Professor. almost halfway done with the great ace attorney which you know is a really Taylor. really uh <laughs> shut up <laughs> <laughs> and we're also like well into uh, professor layton versus phoenix right we are yes and with that everybody we'll catch you in the next one See you later, guys. Yeah, we hope that you all have enjoyed. Please let us know if you would be interested in watching us, you know, play out the rest of the demo or play the full game when it comes out on release. And uh, remember, everyone, to have a great day and to always keep your code of laws and punishments nearby just in case the king and the collegium decide to change the rules at the last minute.